What's going on guys? Today we got episode 6 of the I Rate Your Team series. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers with that subscribe button to notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And if you do want a chance to be a part of the I Rate Your Team series, I'm live over on Twitch, link in the description. Every Friday or Saturday afternoon, I'll let you know um, through Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord, link in the description for that as well. Um, but probably either Friday or Saturday nights. Um, I like to do Friday nights, but right now with my schedule, um, Friday nights might, might not work every single Friday. So until further notice, probably Saturday, but I'm going to aim for a uh, Friday. I your team streams. So well, yeah, link in the description for the Twitch channel and the discord. I recommend you join both, but um, yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. This team looks good. This team looks good as hell. Um, we got, we got Tyron Smith, Larry Allen, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, and La Lael Collins. So I like how you moved Larry Allen over to the other side and kept Zach Martin at right guard. Smart move. Um, Jermichael Finley. I still think Jermichael Finley top three in the game right now, without question. Finley's super nice. Doesn't get Dallas chems, but still a W to have him. Um, yeah, my top three tight ends right now, probably Tony G, Finley, and um, Jimmy Graham. But I, Jarwin's also pretty good as well, especially on a theme team. He's probably nice. Um, we got limited Amari with route tech and something else. I can't see what the other thing is, but he's got route tech on him, which is a W. Um, my, it's not muted. It's not muted. All right, in the slot though, we got CD Lamb. CD Lamb, I use CD Lamb in a game plan. He was good without. He was good without um all the boost you probably have. So I can only imagine how good he's on this theme team. We got Dante Hall. Interesting choice, because I know Dante Hall isn't a cowboy. So why'd you pick Dante Hall? Let me know. Why Dante Hall? You could have so many better options than Dante Hall, but you go Dante Hall. His route running's terrible. Cheap and fast. My rushers are slow. I mean. I I don't, I mean, I, is, is he really that fast? What does he have, 90 speed right now? And his route running is lackluster? Bro, like, how much, how much is, uh, well, what does he get? He gets open from the slot. Yo, try, uh, try Marvin Harrison, bro. Or, like, um, you can try Devontae Adams is good. Um, who else? Um, Robert Woods, Golden Tate. I like all those guys more than I like Dante Hall. Yo, thanks, for, thanks for the follow, man. Isn't he receiving, isn't he, uh, um, return man archetype too? Yeah, I don't know. I like those receivers more than I would, like, uh, more than I like Dante Hall, especially out of the slot. Golden Tate, Robert Woods, and who was the last guy I said? Devontae Adams. I like all those guys more, honestly. But um, I guess Dante, if Dante Hall, you like him, you like him, and it's what it is. But I do like Andre Johnson. I do see Andre Johnson right there, 91 overall. On a theme team, huge W. Um, I like Zeke. Zeke's probably fire with that jukebox, I see. And we got Dak Prescott with dashing and long-range Deadeye. That seems like a W, too, because you're boosting Zach's speed. You're, bo you're boosting Dak's speed, and he, already has good, and he already has that good throw power as well, so... Um, Dak is, Dak, Dak's probably pretty good on the theme team, bro. Wait, he is 27. Bro, why you got 27k training? Hey, yo, why you got 27? Wait, do you have 27k training and sprinter? 27k training and you already have sprint. He's like a Devin Hester last year. The Hester car was all right, but I've never seen him do with 27k training. Get out of here. All right, on defense, Xavier Woods, Robert Quinn, 87 overall Robert Quinn. This looks glitchy. Um, we got Jalen Smith, Sam Mills, 94. Malcolm Smith, I don't remember when he was a, wait, is he a, is he a, when was, when was Malcolm Smith a cowboy? Yo, thanks for the follow. Yo, what's good, bro? Yo, wh when was Malcolm Smith a cowboy? Last two games last season? Oh my, you love to see that. But we got Leighton Van Der Esch as well. We got Tyron Matthew, haha. -ha. Um, we got Deion Sanders, Asante Samuel, and Byron Jones. Um, those corners look locked down. Byron Jones and Deion on a Cowboys team team with Williams. No one's probably passing on you. I doubt Dudes are completing any kind of passes on you. But we got Everton Griffin, Emboy Okoye, and we got Gerald McCoy with, with Demarcus Lawrence. I feel like Demarcus Lawrence is definitely, definitely definitely deserves an upgrade soon. Um they usually give him a pretty good card early in the year. They haven't given they haven't given him one yet, but he definitely deserves it. But um here's his Amari Cooper on the Cowboys team team. He's got 93 speed, 91 jumping, 93 catching, 97, I mean 87 catching traffic, 90 spec catch, 92 short, and 90 mid and 90 mid route running. And I also believe he does hit the uh, deep route deep route running threshold as well. This card looks nasty, bro. Oh, my goodness. This is the card I wanted to see, man. Deion Sanders on the theme team. 96 speed, 97 excel. This dude's locking down everyone. No one's no one's doing anything against against the 96 speed, 97 acceleration Dion with 95 man, 95 zone, 94 play rec, and that athleticism. There's no one. There's no one. No one's getting open. No one's getting open, especially with bench press. No one's getting open, bro. I'm telling you that right now. Bro, this team glitchy as hell, man. I mean, the one thing I would do, the one thing I'd say is just uh, get rid of Dante Hall, and that's all I'd do. But other than that, man, you got 700K. You got 27K training for some odd reason. 
I don't know. If I were you, though, I'd definitely read Dante Hall, though. That's the first thing I'd do. All right, we got a uh, Jam Jam's team. He's got David Bakhtiari, Richie Incognito, Rodney Hudson, Shaq Mason, Mike McGlinchey, Jonathan with that tight end. Um, we got Reggie Wynn with Route Tech, Andre Johnson, 89 overall. Um, we got Bo Jackson, 91. We got Trace McSworley at quarterback with uh, the backup being Lamar Jackson. Trace McSworley, definitely. I think I, I would say McSworley is probably like a top, maybe, maybe like a top five quarterback, top five, top ten. Card solid, though. I'm not going to lie. McSworley does throw some hot dots. I have seen that happen a few times, bro. I'm not going to lie. I do like CJ Ham. CJ Ham's a W as well. But um, on the offense, do you have all your AP maximized? Actually, you're kind of broke right now with only 300 training and 10,000 coins. Um, if you are hurting for coins and trying to improve that team, I do recommend that you do the uh, do the, uh, do the the 50 solos, man. You get a lot of those uh, 81 overall cards, and you're able to kind of do a set um, over time. It, it, it's not going to happen right away, but you will be able to. All right, yeah, but this this offense, not terrible. Uh, I mean, for your coin count, the situation, I like how you actually have a good old line. A lot of people will just usually spend all their coins on their skill position players and have a weak offensive line. I mean, I mean, you could argue that Shaq Mason's kind of buns, but I mean, in 83, you, you spend some power up training on him, stuff like that. Um, it's not a bad investment, I guess. Shaq Mason could, could get a pretty decent upgrade. As well as Ronnie Hudson, too. He, he, he should get one. Um, but on defense, we got Steve Atwater. LT, Patrick Queen, Jalen Smith, Dumerville. Um, we got 85 Sam Mills with 86 Jaquaski Tart. Um, and we also got Ienis Williams, 91, with Marlon Humphrey, who just got an extension. Um, and we got Yannick Nguakwe, Amboy Okoye, Vita Vea, Joey, Joey Bosa, and Jonathan Joseph. That Jonathan Joseph card's actually pretty good. I also like how you're running, uh, how you're rocking uh, Bench Press. Bench Press did get, did get nerfed today, but um, Bench Press is still, I think it's still worth it, bro. It's really that good. Um, it's always hell whenever I face it, but... What are you rocking on LT? You got Stonewall and what? What else you got on LT, bro? What's he got on LT? What do you guys think? He's got three AP on him, and he ha he already has Stonewall. I wonder what he I wonder what he's got on him. I don't think he's here right now, but I wonder what he's got on him. I don't I have no idea. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I mean, you got Elvis, you got Lawrence, uh, you got your corners. Yo, V don't screen. Yo, thanks to the fall, bro. I mean, you have some you have some solid playmakers on defense. If I were you, I'm focusing on the offensive line next. Like, I know Richie has that upgrade, so maybe try to get Richie's upgrade. Maybe try to power him up. Um, get that card to its fullest potential. Um, but, yeah, stick with that Trace McSworley, bro. He's about, to, he's about to go off for you, man. You probably win a whole bunch of games with him, too. All right, we got... How do you say your name? Kaid? Saeed? Saeed? Kaid? I don't know how you say his name, but... We got your team here. We got Joe Thomas, a card I forgot was even in the game, if I'm being honest. Like, I completely forgot about that card. But uh, Joe Thomas, David Deal, Alex Mack at center. Okay. Um, we got Zach Moore and Ryan Ramchek. Offensive line looks good. Um, just like me, I, I got to upgrade my center. You got to do the, probably got to do the same soon. Um, I, I feel like Rag now is now starting to slip a little bit, but I'm trying to hold on to him for as long as I can. But Cade, oh, it's just Cade. That's how you say his name, Cade. All right, bet. But um, yeah, the center's probably need to, the center will probably need to get upgraded real soon. But I like your tight ends. You got Johnny Smith and uh, we got the free George Kittle 82 overall. Probably still has a good run block for a tight end, even though he is the free 82. But I like your receivers. You got Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, Andre Johnson. It's a pretty nice receiving core. I'm not going to lie. Andre Johnson's very good. Um, Andre, Andre Johnson plays a lot like that Vincent Jackson, bro. I'm telling you right now. They play very similar. But uh, we got Reggie Wayne, Route Tech, and we got Marvin Harrison, Route Tech. Big W there. Odell. I guess you're waiting for that Odell upgrade. He'll probably be pretty, he'll probably be pretty solid, bro. All right, but Eddie George at running back. Eddie George at running back. Okay. Eddie George. Hmm. See, I don't know how I feel about Eddie George at running back. Eddie George has what? 87 speed? He's not breaking much of anything. I don't know how I feel about Eddie George, though. I'm, I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't know how I feel about him. I think that... Let me see your defense. All right. Um, I don't know what I would do with that, but, like, I, I, don't, I just don't think Eddie George is... I don't I don't like Eddie George. I don't like him. He's all right, but, like, I, I'm not a fan, bro. Eddie George is glitchy. I mean, but, like, is he breaking any runs for you? Yeah, he might chunk some yardage. I mean, you can keep him, but if I were you, I'd look for that speed guy. You know what I mean? I'd look for that speed guy. Try to get maybe a Cam Akers, even. Um, He's fairly cheap. Probably going for, like, 20, 25K right now. You don't run? I mean, if you don't run, then I mean, I guess stick with Eddie George, but you should probably, I mean, I guess on the goal line, you just kind of use him, right? Yo, Kate spent money. I mean, I know it's kind of disappointing coming from another no money spent member, but um, but yeah, this offense does look pretty good, bro. Besides, I, Eddie George does, still does not sit well with me, even if you don't run the ball. He still doesn't sit well with me, bro. But on defense, we got McKinney. McKinney's actually pretty good. I faced him today. He actually made a few plays. Um, McKinney's not terrible. But uh, we got KJ Wright, Jalen Smith, Patrick Queen, 85 Sam Mills at left outside linebacker. Okay. We got 89 Jamal Adams. Actually a W. 
right there. Um, power up Jamal Adams is actually still pretty solid. We got power up Denzel Ward with uh, maybe second wind and either one step or bench press on him. We got we got team of the week Marlon Humphrey, team of the week Aaron Donald, Linval Joseph, um, Cam Jordan, and Jonathan Joseph. Do you use your uh, your left outside linebacker? Because if you do, I mean, Sam Mills, especially the 85 Sam Mills, you can definitely find better than him at left outside linebacker. Um, I don't know who you'd rock there, but I don't know. Maybe maybe you switch him and Queen, honestly. I don't know, Big Nickel. Okay, so yeah, you probably, he probably doesn't even see. He, he probably, yeah, 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 actually, that's, that's actually a pretty good spot for him. He plays in that outside spot. This, this team's actually not bad, bro. I, I I feel like this like this team can actually win you some games. You gotta you gotta really you, like your receivers are good. They all have route tech, and you got Marino with hot route and set feet. Oh, you don't have hot route though. I guess it's all right. I mean, I'd run hot route if I were you, but that's just me. Um, I think hot route is just overpowered as hell. I love hot route. Hot route's honestly a staple for me. Like I need it. I need it now. Like I I I'm nothing without it. At this point, bro, I'm nothing without it. Oh, you're a no linebacker. It's interesting. Okay, but other than that, man, I like this team, bro. I like this team. No linebackers at all. Del Pitt Edmonds. Yeah, bro. Big W, man. Big W, bro. Big W, man. I appreciate you for sending the team, man. Guys, I know we've seen... Yo, thanks for the follow, by the way. Thanks for the follow, man. I know we've seen some very bad pictures taken for I Rate Your Teams in the history of I Rate Your Teams, but this one might take the cake, bro. Actually, it might... it's probably top three, though. It's top three, bro. Bro. This dude took it vertical and it has an Android. A vertical with an Android. Nah, nah. I don't know how you can mess up that many times. Not only did you go out of your way to buy an Android, then you took the picture of vertical? Nah, it's cap. You don't have an Apple. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's not an Apple. Vertical Android. Bro, I'm telling you, it's top three. He really showed me the whole damn TV remote. Yo, this is I rate your team, not I rate your TV remote, my guy. Moff, I, I expected better from you, Moff. I expected better from you. I don't know what's going on with you right now. I, I, all I know is I, now I gotta take my manual zoom in right now, bro. That's all I know. I gotta manually, I gotta manually zoom in. Let's run it back. Nah, nah. You already, you already, you already made your bed, bro. Now you gotta lay in it. Yeah, quality matters, bro. No, I don't want to see your new ones. I don't care. I've already seen your first display. Lay in it. Yes, lay in it. Please. If you want to prove you have an Apple, take a picture of your Apple phone. Exactly. It's all you gotta do. Moth. If you win another one, Moff, all you gotta do is bounce back, bro. Moff, just bounce back. It's all you gotta do. All right, here's the team. Alejandro Villanueva. Wait, this is a... You got a Steelers team, right, Moff? A Steelers team? Reggie Bush is low-key the best running back in the game. Facts! Reggie Bush goaded. 86 catching on Reggie Bush. Anyway, back to the team. What do you say? I'd rather have no TV and no phone than this. <laughs> oh, my. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back to the team, to the team. Back to the team, I gotta focus. Alejandro Villanueva. At left tackle, we got Trent Williams, Marquise Pouncey, David DeCastro, and Matt Feeler, Feiler, Feeler, Fieldler, however you say his name. Um, their old line is actually pretty suspect besides DeCastro. Because they don't have, Trent Williams isn't even on that line. But, um, okay. We got Heath Miller, maybe Ebron at backup, and Ebron at, at fullback. Uh, we got Mike Vick, I think, at quarterback. It's either Mike Vick or it's, uh, either Mike Vick or Trace McSworthy. I can't tell, but Mike Vick. Um, we got Jerome Bettis, 91 overall. We got Le'Veon Bell. Okay, interesting. Um, Sanders on the theme team. We got Andre Johnson theme team. Juju on the theme team. We got Jerry Judy. Um, I think he, he was running Slotomatic on him, but not anymore because Slotomatic somehow got somehow got nerfed today. I'm not sure why they nerfed Slotomatic. I didn't need to be nerfed at all. It wasn't even that good. There, was, there wasn't even that many Slotomatic. There wasn't even that many slot receivers in the game, bro. Why? But, uh, yeah, I mean, this theme team looks all right. Um, now that Judy doesn't get Slotomatic 1 AP and same with Justin Jefferson, I think that CD Lamb is a little bit better. I like CD Lamb. I mean, you can stick with Judy, but I think CD is slightly better. I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. I use them both. Um, but Judy without Slotomatic is just kind of average. But I still think that CD Lamb with CD Lamb with um, w without abilities is still fire, bro. Oh, we'll get Shaz and Mean Show. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, let's go over the defense. Oh my goodness. It, it, like, look at this. Have the picture is just, like, look. Look. Have the picture is just, it, it's literally just your table. Someone will look at that team, bro. But on defense, we got Minka Fitzpatrick, Bud Dupree, 82 Sam Mills. Okay, so grind your Sam Mills. If you're really committed to the theme team, I think having a good Sam Mills is a great centerpiece for the defense. So grind that Sam Mills. Yes, it is very time-consuming, but it is what it is. A lot of things in this game are time-consuming. But um, we got Devin Bush. We got TJ Watt. Can you use your power pass on TJ Watt, big W. Uh, Terrell Edmonds, cards probably goaded on your theme team, man. Um, we got Joe Hayden, who should probably get an upgrade too, maybe like a veteran's card. 
Yeah, Joe Hayden will probably get a veterans card whenever the veterans drop next. Yeah, thanks for the follow, bro. <laughs> oh my. All right, and we got uh, Stefan Tuitt, Chris Wormley, 69 overall. We got Leroy Glover, theme team. Cameron Hayward, Steven Nelson, who probably will also get a veteran at some point or a flashback because he, he got one last year, I believe. And we got 92 Rod Woodson. Oh, yeah, so there's no, there's no Mel. Is there a Mel Blunt in the game yet? No, nah, right? Is there Mel Blunt? Have we got a Mel Blunt yet? No, there's no Mel Blunt yet. All right, so Mel Blunt's coming. There's no. There's no Mel Blunt yet. I feel like they always drop a, a Mel Blunt early, but there's no Mel Blunt yet. He's got to be coming soon. Um, so once you get your Mel Blunt, you'll be chilling there. Um, and they're also adding. They're also there's probably also a whole bunch of other Steelers legends that are that are going to be coming in the game this year that weren't even in the game last year. Like they already said, there's going to be a Lynn Swan, um, Big W there. Oh, a Cordell Stewart. They better give us Cordell Stewart again. That card was actually pretty fun to use. This thing is actually pretty good. All you got to do now is just wait wait for your upgrades and get level 60 and stuff like that. But other than that, man. Also, there's gonna be a Paul Malu coming too, and like, uh, and like a Kevin Green probably. Like, there's a lot of upgrades. Yeah, you'd be, all you gotta do is get Shaz and that. Uh, what's his name tomorrow? And low key, what you could do is, if you only run one defensive tackle, once you do get Mean Joe, take Leroy Glover, trade him back in, get all your collectibles back, and put it on a position that you that you need more. You could honestly get Ed McCaffrey instead of Jerry Judy, um, and save that 70k, or you can go with um a Williams as well. That's that could be a good move for you as well. Um, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. Actually, I actually like that idea. If you get Mean Joe, trade in your Leroy Glover and go get a corner or a wide receiver. That's what I would do, bro. Oh, there we go. That, that's the spot. Let's go, boys. I enjoy playing it every day. All right, anyway. Trent Williams, Joe Thune. Whose team is this? Oh, All-Stars. This is All-Stars team. All-Stars got Trent Williams, Joe Thune, Ronnie Hudson, ja Jari Evans. Only the power-up, not his actual card. We got Lane Johnson, huge W. Jamichael Finley. Can't see the coin count, but Finley is a top three tight end like i said earlier we got andre johnson with uh slotomatic on him i believe yeah slotomatic maybe i could be wrong i can't really tell but we got mark clay in 92 we got Devonta adams uh, i like this receiving core um andre johnson's not actually andre johnson's pretty good oh is this, no, this is a theme team wait is it theme team i want to know this might be some kind of packers team because i mean you see he's got andre johnson with packers he's got mark clayton with packers got Devonta adams packers got finley but he, and he's got heath i don't think it is actually he also got Jari Evans Packers. I don't know. Yes, part theme team. Okay, it's a part theme team. I was right, Moff. See? Tug me, tug me, tug me, tug me, tug me. Packers? Hey, if he's on, hey, it's better than a Jets theme team. Am I right? But I do like Warwick Dunn. Aaron Jones needs an upgrade. Bad. Um, he's having a good year and only has an 82 overall to show for it, which kind of sucks. But um, Patty Mahomes. Wait, not, what was that? 92 overall Mahomes? That's kind of a dub, bro. I'm not going to lie. What can we improve on this team? Not much. You got Mike Asselot. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'd improve, bro. Honestly, maybe get one more deep threat receiver and put him at that in this wide receiver four spot. I mean, Andre, Andre Johnson can get it done, but you, I'd want to see one more deep threat for some of those uh, more spread formations. But I mean, I guess, I guess you have Heath Miller, you got Gronk too, and Michael Finley. Yeah, yeah, better wide receivers. Yeah, I mean, his wide receivers are fine. I mean, I don't know, like Andre Johnson, Clayton, and Devontae Adams still getting it done. But I feel like that wide receiver four, you can kind of get just one more deep threat guy. Remember Eddie Lacy? Yo, we need an Eddie Lacy card. <laughs> Just pulled Eddie Lacy out of a get a gold life is good. That's not an Android. That's the LG fridge has a the LG fridge has a better camera. Yo, chill. Man. And Warwick Dunn, I'd say Warwick Dunn's probably like top top six, top five, top six in the game right now. He's still good. He's still good. He's still good. I'm not clicking any links in Discord. I'm not downloading vicious malware on my on my computer. Alright, let's head to, let's go over let's go over to the defense. See what the defense got in store for us. Let's zoom it in. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never had to use this to... Eh. All right. Ooh, Micah Hyde. Yo, how's that Micah Hyde power up though? How did they think making it so you can't motion snap at all? Good idea. Maybe you can still motion snap, right? You can still do it. Micah better than Denzel. Ooh, really? I wish I could use my power up pass on, on, on Micah because he gets... um He gets... Uh, yeah, you can't use your power pass on him, but... um Micah, Micah gets, what, 99? 99 zone, I saw someone on it. But uh, we got power up LT, 97 Sam Mills, big W. This guy's a grinder, respect it. Um, we got Deion Jones, Khalil Mack, Adrian Amos. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a partial Packers team. I forgot about that. I forgot how hot it was on the Packers. I forgot about that. We got Byron Jones, Kevin King. That car actually is not bad. Um, Nadama Kinsu, Leroy Glover, Geno Atkins, Richard Seymour. And power up Denzel with, with bench press as well. So that patch definitely hurt this dude's team a little bit. But yeah, it seems actually solid, bro. I'm not going to lie, man. If I were you, though... Go ahead and put um go put acrobat on Micah Hyde. I know it might be I think it's only 800 training too, so 
I think running Acrobat on probably both here, Sadie's is probably worth it because especially with Micah Hyde already has that crazy zone. So he's able to make those diving plays, kind of cover his whole half of the field all by himself. So if I were you, I'm uh, I'm putting Acrobat on Micah Hyde. Also, I do like the, I, I do like Darnell Savage on the uh, Packers team team as well, bro. It seems fire, bro. Big W's, big W's. All right, so that's gonna do it for episode six. Like I said earlier, link in the description for the Twitch channel and the Discord. Um, if you haven't followed me on Twitch or haven't joined the Discord yet, what are you doing? You should already you should already be a part, bro. Um, and also on Discord, you do get post notifications for YouTube and notifications when I do go live on Twitch. So Discord's a big W. I really don't promote my Discord enough. Um, it's probably the most important thing, honestly. Discord's a big W. But um, yeah, if you are new here, that subscribe button, turn notifications. If the video helped you out after the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.